All right, should we do these challenging chunks? I think we should. I'm going to try to biface these. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What, what do we start with? The hardest or the easiest? Oh, I'm going to start with the gators. That my friend Sean at Tundra Leather, Tundra Leather made me. Yep, yep, yep. I gotta send him some awesome flakes. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going right into this video from the unboxing video. This is the same stuff I just unboxed. Okay, and some people, they don't watch the unboxing, so in case you were wondering where I'm getting this from, I just got a box of obsidian. Looks like I might need another pair of shoes pretty soon. I'm getting them cut up on the obsidian. Okay, so let's see what we got here. This this tip snapped off in transit. It looks like uh, somebody, I wonder who, already attempted to nap this. So what do we do? Well, it's easier now that it's not as long. All right, so we just... I'm going to go right into it. Why is it easier when it's not as long? Well, you, don't have to, you don't have to worry about snapping halfish type accidents <clears throat> as much. You still have to worry about it, but it's not as bad when it's shorter. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of back and forth between braiding and striking. Yeah, it is very crushy. All right. Let's go down to a more fine grit of a braider. The finer grit allows you better contact with the striking area. Because it's smoother. If the striking area is smoother, it allows better contact. So what could be better than hitting it on the straight flat, on a, just a flat obsidian face? Nothing is better. That's just the ideal situation. If you got a, a flat obsidian face, the, the only thing that makes it better is if you uh, roughen it up with some braiding just so your striking tool doesn't slide around too much other than that <clears throat> this one has some incipient cracks sorry about the throat clearing i didn't do anything today that would clog up my throat it's just one of those things I did take a walk, but it wasn't through the forest. It was just down the street. So I don't know. Oh, there. That's what it. That's what it does. Yeah. That's what it does. Well, it makes it even easier now. Yeah, but do you want to see it? Be long. Yeah, I know. It takes a while to get used to this to make long pieces. I just go with it, you know. If it snaps, it snaps. Like it's gonna be more gentle from here on in. Yeah. So turtleback, but turtlebacks on obsidian are not as bad as turtlebacks on shirt. Just gotta watch out for the overshots. Why do I keep grabbing that abrader? I need to grab this other abrader. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay.
No, not like that. I'm trying to be gentle with it. <clears throat> Maybe I didn't drink enough water today. But I don't need enough water to do that. <laughs> yeah, you don't need no stinking water. <clears throat> There we go. Yeah, it did not dive. Good. <clears throat> Sometimes it dives. Yep. There it goes. We're getting it thin. <clears throat> Sorry, I wasn't able to preserve. I was not able to preserve the whole thing. Just a regular biface now. Nothing special. I should start taking the, the ratios of length to width as well. Should I should do a lot of things that I never do, and I forget because <clears throat> I don't rewatch my videos. <clears throat> Come on, there it is. Gotta creep up on it. So I didn't measure it beforehand, so <clears throat> you don't know the true potential of that piece, but it's now a biface. From here, it's pretty straightforward on thinning it, as long as they don't snap more of it off. Yeah, it's very snappish, but it's that buttery type of obsidian. All right, so let's do this. We'll save that big curved one for last. Let's see how many issues this one has. I saw some issues before. What's the weight of this bopper? It's a five ounce. Now, let me measure <clears throat> six and three eighths. I'm not gonna be able to get that much out of it, but just for reference. How much do I think? I can get out of it. What's my projection? I don't know. I can get probably five and a half inches. As long as this doesn't snap off here. As long as there's no cracks in through there. I might be able to get five inches out of it. Yeah, these flakes hold together. See it's triple flow? So I'm not too worried about them holding together. Looks like they will. It's got to be very tiptoey. But not too timid. Tiptoe without being timid. That's the hard part. And uh, make sure I don't miss where the cracks are because they'll sneak up on you nice look at that it's, it was an overshot yeah voila I shouldn't say voila too soon because that's too much of a scoop. It's not good. <clears throat> I may end up not being able to save too much of that. If that scoop is too deep and it presents too much of a curve, I gotta take some off the tip, which means I lose length on it. We'll see. 
Am I thinning the ends first? Yeah, believe it or not, yes. But the middle can't be too fat because then it will, it can still snap if the middle is too fat. Because I got to hit really hard to get the middle to thin down. Yeah. So I'm going to leave the ends a little bit bulky so they don't snap. It's all, it's all proportional. I can leave the ends a little bit bulky if the middle is really bulky. I take it down evenly. Yeah, evenly and gradually. Looking for bad spots and trying to clear them off to see what I got. But clear them off in a way that I don't waste too much. That's the problem. There's a little bit of a crack right there. It's not too bad. It's okay to use a coarse abrader. I'm telling myself it's okay at this stage, but very soon it won't be okay. Oops. Yeah, I hit into an area that was hit into that area. Should have been okay. Yeah, it's just too too wonky. Yeah, I should have. I don't know. I can't think of another spot. If I hit the end there, the only better spot might have been here this way. There was a crack in here. Yeah, there was an incipient right there. I'm going to try to figure some something out here. Too slippery. Yeah, it was an incipient crack right there. Right in the middle. Yeah, I was going for a nice flake on this side. It snapped right there. And why would it snap right there? That's a weird one. There's some more incipient cracks within it. Perhaps. Okay. So that one is, was a failure to maintain length. Let's, sub, let's try this one, see how far I can get with this one. It's got some nice patterning in it.
seven inches. Let's see.
That's a good piece. It's curved, but I can get an arrowhead out of some of that. Let's put this over here. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. I crunched it. That ridge here, it's not going to be easy, I don't think. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's solid in there somewhere. It sounds solid. Hopefully that doesn't die. That didn't dive in. I need to skim off more of this than I do of this. That's going to be difficult to keep straight. Keep it without a curve. Let's see. Bit of still a bit of incipient cracks up here in the front. See that there's still some in there. I can hear you. Come on. There it is. What did it do? Very interesting pattern. see any incipient cracks or do I no yeah, another nice one still a bit curved though but I'll save it that's really nice, but uh, I can't be trying to preserve an area because you know how that goes. It ends up being bumpy right in that area that I want to preserve. So I just got to ignore it for now.
Okay, <clears throat> I'm starting to get tired, so I don't want to continue with this piece. Sometimes I take off too much, sometimes I take off too little. So th that's when I know that I'm getting tired. It's going to have to get a lot more narrow. Yep. Unfortunately, there's no good ways for me to get in there without starting to work this edge with some pressure make it more narrow and then do some final flaking it's kind of inconsistent and unfortunately i wasn't able to preserve much of that uh, gold sheen uh, and besides that area is very crunchy and uh, what i think is going to shoot past the center sometimes will not but it should with this type of obsidian. It's like a triple flow. See that? But it is it is weird. Dang it. It's sticky. The flakes are kind of sticky. So I got to hit them a little harder than usual, uh, which means I got to abrade more than usual, which sometimes means I take off a little, uh, a little too much. Yeah. Let's see. Six and uh, three sixteenths. I don't know what it was before. I forget already. Yeah, I can continue this, but not right now. I'm I'm really tired. Of, I'm kind of tired as it is, but then I'm getting tired of this piece. Yeah. Thinning it down, it, that's the thing. It was okay earlier. I could have stopped, but I wanted to try to get it thinner. Yeah, so it's starting... It's starting to get a little bit wonky. So in order to get all that wonkiness out, it's got to be really thin. Yeah. So in that case, if I'm not 200%, I'm not going to mess with it. Yeah. I can generate really nice flakes on it. But when I really need it to work exactly right, it doesn't. Yeah. Which means I, uh, I gotta, I gotta improve the striking areas. They're they're all kind of lumpy right now, which is usually fine. But if for some reason I'm losing energy, I'm scooping out too much. The flakes aren't traveling across this way they go this way diagonally pretty good but they don't go this way that much that well i don't know if it's because of the wobble or what yeah and it's also i gotta hit it kind of hard and if it if the edges are not smooth enough it, it, and they're kind of crunchy it's not gonna work yeah I want to keep going on it, but I know that if I do, I'll snap it, even though it's high grade, not very snappable stuff. Yeah. All right. So there you go. I got two out of three. Yep. I'm just going to take a thumbnail of that and continue on the next segment. All righty. That's it.